We're going to talk about another coin, the half dollar, in this video. We're at lesson 4.6. And this is what it looks like in the front and the back. This is a half dollar. It's 50 cents. On the front is a picture of the 35th President Kennedy. On the back, there's a lot on the back, isn't there? There's an eagle, and he has a shield on his chest. And he's holding an olive branch and 13 arrows in each of his Claws, see? His talons. And there's a scroll in his mouth. And there's 13 cloud puffs above his head. And he's surrounded by 50 stars. A half dollar is worth 50 cents. And this coin is larger in size than a quarter. So not only is it more money because it's 50 cents and a quarter is only 25 cents, but it's larger in size, isn't it? It's much bigger. John F. Kennedy is on the front and the seal of the President of the United States surrounded by 50 stars is on the back. Two half dollars equals a dollar bill. Here we have a bottle of juice and it costs 50 cents. So we need to count these coins and write the amounts and then circle the amounts that are enough to buy that bottle of juice. So we need 50 cents. So let's see how much this one is. We have a quarter. Well, that's 25 cents. And look, we have two dimes and a nickel. Do you remember? Two dimes and a nickel is equal to 25. That's like having two quarters. We can skip count by 25s. 25, 50. That's 50 cents. That's enough to buy the juice because the juice is 50 cents, isn't it? So that is enough, isn't it? Okay, let's look at this one. We have a dime, a dime, and a dime. Let's turn him around. And that's 10, 20, 30, and we have two nickels. Two nickels, they're each five, and five and five is 10, isn't it? So we can count these together as a 10. We can count all the coins as tens by skip counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 cents is not enough to buy the juice. The juice is 50 cents, so we don't have enough money there. Let's try this next one. We have a quarter, that's 25, and we have a dime and a dime and five pennies. You remember five pennies is the same thing as a nickel. So we actually have two dimes and a nickel here, don't we? Because five pennies is like a nickel. And remember, two dimes and a nickel is equal to a quarter. It's 25 cents. So again, we have a 25 and a 25. We can count by 25s, 25, 50. So yeah, we have enough to buy juice here. One quarter, two dimes and five pennies is 50 cents. That's enough to buy the juice. Now look what we have here. We have two quarters. We can count by skip counting by 25s, can't we? 25, 50. Yeah, that's enough. So that's enough to buy the juice. Two quarters makes 50 cents. It's the same thing as a half dollar. See? Now let's count on to find each amount. We have a half dollar, that's 50. We have a quarter, that's 25. And we have two pennies. Do you remember how to count on by 25s? We say 25, 50, 75. Well, if we're already at 50, another 25 would be the 75, wouldn't it? So now we're at 75, 76, 77. That's 77 cents. 
A half dollar, a quarter, and two pennies is 77 cents. Let's try it again. Now we have a half dollar and three dimes and a nickel. Half dollar is 50, and now we can skip count by tens. 50, 60, 70, 80, and five more is 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So this is 85 cents. A half dollar, three dimes, and a nickel is 85 cents. Let's try it again. Ooh, now we have lots of coins. We have a half dollar, we have a quarter, we have a dime, a nickel, and four pennies. So let's start over here. This half dollar is 50, and a quarter skip counting by 25s from 50 when we add 25 we get to 75 don't we so this is like two quarters here isn't it this 50 it's like 25 50 and one more quarter would be 75 so now we're at 75 here we add 10 76 77 78 79 80 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. We can actually skip count by tens by just adding one more 10. 75, 85. See? We need to add 5 to this. 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Now we're at 90. Now we need to add the pennies. 91, 92, 93, 94. This is 94 cents. See? Just count on and slowly add them up. Let's try it again. Here we have one, two, three quarters, a dime, and another dime. So we have three quarters and two dimes. We can skip count by 25s. 25, 50, 75. Now we're at 75. We can add a 10 to that. If we add 110 to this, we're going to add a 1 to the tens place. That means we have an 8 here, so we have 85. And if, whoops, let me write that a little bit better so you can see it better. There we go. It's important to write our numbers clearly so other people can read them, right? If we're going to add another 10, then we're adding another 1 to the tens place. So 8 and 1 is a 9. We have 95. So we have 95 cents. See? 3 quarters and 2 dimes makes 95 cents. Now what would happen if this wasn't a dime? What happens if that was a nickel? The dime was 10 cents. This nickel is only five cents. We would have less money because the dime was more, right? The dime is equal to two nickels, a five cents and a five cents, right? Two nickels make one dime, five cents and five cents makes 10 cents. So if we took this dime away and we put a nickel there, it would be like taking away one of these five cents. See? And if we take away a five cents, then that's not going to be 95 cents. It's going to be 90 cents. See? So let's check. Three quarters, 25, 50, 75, plus 110. That gives us 85. But now, instead of adding a 10, we're only adding a 5. 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Yep, it got us to 90. See? Let's try it again. Now we have one, two, three quarters, and a nickel. So let's count by 25s. 25, 50, 75, and then five more. 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. We counted by 25s, 25 cents. 50 cents, 75 cents, and five more was 80 cents. 
See? And we just slowly count it on. Okay? So now you know what a half dollar is. It's got a picture of John F. Kennedy on the front. And it's got the presidential seal on the back with lots of things. The eagle and the olive branch. Yeah, olive branch is on other coins too, isn't it? Like on the dime. Okay, we're going to continue on talking about money, and I'll see you next time. Bye.